Okay, so this is a video game review for Unreal Tournament 1999 for the PC. This game was released unsurprisingly in 1999, but in December, a few days before that other big kill fest, Quake 3 Arena, which I'll directly co compare it to in this video. And if you see little clips of Quake 3, then don't be surprised because uh, it's really hard to talk about one without talking about the other. It's kind of like Simon and Garfunkel. They really do kind of uh, go together. And personally, um, as I said in my Quake 3 uh, review, which is um, something I don't say about a lot of games, I'm a... Uh, pinning my co colours to the mast in a sense because I said that I was an Unreal Tournament kind of guy and I think it holds through still it's um, I mean uh, it's it's a great game I think it does beat um, Quake 3 in most respects but there are some respects that Quake 3 is better and I'll uh, mention those as well uh, if you don't already know Unreal Tournament and Quake 3 were first person shooters with an emphasis on high paced frantic multiplayer action uh, and mayhem and I never really uh, I always played them for the bots and things uh, because I couldn't stand um, opponents of differing abilities. Um, but and there is a single player in both, but you know they nothing to write home about. It's not like Star Trek Voyager Elite Force where there's a 50/50 kind of split between single player story and multiplayer kind of uh, bot fighting uh, mayhem. Firstly, the graphics in Run Real Tournament are fantastic, and they still look good today. Although since the release of uh, UT03 and 04, they look kind of dated, but only because those games games have raised the bar to such an unbelievable height. Um, I prefer the models in UT99 than that of Quake 3 and subsequent UT games also. The sound of both UT and Quake 3 are about even and both are up to high standards. While there's music in UT and I used to kind of blast that through the speakers, it used to be pretty damn good, um, and some decent torts. Um, Quake 3 had a great announcer with phrases like humiliation and uh, when you kill someone with a basic chainsaw. Um, the weapons in UT are better in my opinion, looking and playing better, but um, there are some exceptions. The rocket launcher for instance is uh, much better in Quake I think um, and can ca cause more carnage. And the very starter weapon in UT is pretty useless, but in Quake it comes in the form of the very cool chainsaw already mentioned. Um, my enjoyment of UT basically is based on two maps, uh, which I'll mention in a bit, and this sniper rifle. If they did not have the sniper rifle, uh, this uh, and those two maps that I'm uh, going to mention, this game would go down a point easily, just based on that. Um, in terms of uh, game modes, UT had the best and the most, with not only deathmatch, uh, team deathmatch and capture the flag, uh, the kind of usual ones, uh, and elimination which is kind of like a, a system based on uh, lives, but also had domination where you, um, uh, where you defend key positions on a map uh, which racks up points for your team, you'll kind of see that a bit later, um, and uh, the team with the most points wins, or the first team to 100 or something and Assault where two sides take an offensive and defensive positions of an invasion and the side that defends the objective for longest wins and you'll also see that as well. Um, I, I always felt that UT could have made more of Assault and uh, Domination with better um, maps and the, the objectives for Assault were always kind of, I felt a bit vague and I could never know if I was meant to be shooting the thing or um, or just kind of move next to the objective. That was me using the really useless uh, Unreal Tournament kind of starter weapon. Uh, it's kind of like, it looks like a kind of scuba tank or something like that. It, it, I could never kill anyone with it. I, um, uh, I always prefer the chainsaw, personally. But the bits where you fall off uh, high cliffs and stuff, or high bits, are, all, uh, are still there, just like in um, Quake 3. Uh, you could customize the HUD, uh, the kind of... Um, uh, the things, but I, uh, for some reason I don't think you could uh, customize how big your uh, crosshair was, which uh, I, I did in um, Unreal Tournament 2004, which was uh, quite a nice one. Now, this, um, as you can see, I'm trying to kind of, I've got loads of different uh, thoughts going on in my head at once, so I'll try and make sense of it all. This was my favorite map of all. This is quite simply, I think, one of the greatest maps ever made, and if they keep on having it in a an Unreal Tournament uh, game, it wouldn't be a bad thing. It's just such a great map. It's a capture the flag map uh, called Face, and it really this and another one called Morpheus, which you'll uh, which you already saw actually. It was the one where uh, there's all these buildings and stuff. I think th these two maps literally made Unreal Tournament. Like I uh, I can't say say any more kind of uh, powerfully than that. These two games really were so good, um, these maps are so good that it's hard to kind of uh, 
to think about Unreal Tournament without them, because I used to play uh, play these ones so much, especially with the sniper rifle. I loved just you know uh, taking people's heads off with that thing. Um, so in terms of maps, I'd say actually Quake 3 has the better designed ones, although UT has some real classics, as just mentioned. Without those two and the additional sniper rifle, um, you know, the U2 would probably drop a point in my estimation. On top of these were a bunch of mutators or tweak, uh, tweakable options uh, in Unreal Tournament, such as game speed. So even though UT felt a little bit slower than um, uh, Quake 3, you could actually increase the speed at which you played it at, and low gravity and other things uh, that you could change in the game, which was made, I think, UT more of a fuller package, really, uh, and allows the, you to play the game the way you want it. Uh, furthermore, each weapon has a secondary function, unlike in Quake 3, uh, and there's uh, similar health, armor, and damage pickups as well. Um, so this was just the uh, the assault mode, and uh, you know this is uh, pretty good fun as well. I felt they could have had some better maps and things uh, on this one, and as I said, the the objectives uh, screen could have been uh, the interface could have been laid out a lot better so that you could just kind of quick quickly see what the objectives were. And um, you know, usually I felt I had to play the one a few times before I could actually uh, do it through. So in conclusion, both UT and Quake 3 Arena gave the world something special in December 1999 and have left a large footprint in FPS gaming. Both deserve applause, but my personal favourite is UT, which I feel better than its opponent on most counts. The final thing I have to say about UT and Quake 3 is that they're both fun, something that most games uh, fail at. So in conclusion, this game gets an 8 out of 10. And that's me.